ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಸ್ಪ್ಲಿಟ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಮೋಟಾರ್ ಸೊ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಪ್ಲಿಟ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಮೋಟಾರ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟೂ ವೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಮೋಟಾರ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಟೂ ವೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಓಕೆ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಇಂಪೀಡೆನ್ಸ್ ವೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಲೆಸ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ದ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಎಂ ದ ಆಕ್ಸಿಲರಿ ವೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯೂ ವೈಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿನ್ ಸೊ the two phase motor everything is identical but here you see in a split phase motor i am going to make one uh, uh, winding to have higher impedance and other winding to have lower impedance im is your see here im is your main imp- uh, main winding and ia uh, ia is your auxiliary winding main winding and auxiliary winding and how i am going to construct that you see so the current is going to current in the auxiliary winding is less than the main winding so the current is less means the impedance will be higher so the auxiliary winding will have a very high impedance and main winding will have a very less impedance okay so you will because of see when everything is perfectly balanced means this you will get only one single field but since the two windings are going to be completely different definitely here also you will have two fields forward rotating field and backward rotating field but uh, forward rotating field will be very much stronger than the backward rotating field so you will get a torque see in the previous case and this case two phase and split phase same motor only but in two phase i am going to have identical main and auxiliary winding the parameters are going to be exactly identical but in a split phase motor what difference is the main or main winding will have less impedance and auxiliary winding will have more impedance because of the difference in impedance you will have forward field and backward field again having rota- in, uh, formed inside the motor so when the two fields are rotating but the two fields are unbalanced because one is stronger and one is weaker by nature itself so the forward field is always stronger by nature and backward field is always weaker so this because of one field is strong and one field is weak starting torque is naturally produced in the split phase motor okay so auxiliary wind uh, auxiliary winding may be may not be left in circuit after when the motor is going to start the auxiliary winding will be cut off so when the auxiliary winding is cut off the motor will run only with one winding so depending on the splitting of phase you can have resistance split motor and capacitor split phase motor so auxiliary winding will have very high impedance right so when the motor is starting to run the auxiliary winding may be cut off so that the motor is running at full speed so split phase means the phase uh, the phase between the two windings are split so one winding will have more phase and one winding will have less amount of phase phase difference